Welcome to the Crypto Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is November 7, 2024, and we have a lineup of intriguing stories from the world of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. Links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. First up, France's gambling regulator, the ANJ, is taking steps to ban the cryptocurrency prediction platform Polymarket for French users. Polymarket, which allows users to bet on various events using cryptocurrencies, gained significant traction during the recent US presidential elections with a staggering $3.2 billion wagered globally. Despite its innovative use of blockchain, the ANJ views Polymarket as a gambling activity, which is illegal in France. A notable incident involving a French trader who placed a $30 million bet on Donald Trump's victory has drawn regulatory scrutiny. The ANJ is assessing Polymarket's compliance with French gambling laws and may block its domain in France. However, users might still access it via VPNs, as Polymarket doesn't require identity verification. Next, let's dive into Crypto.com's ambitious roadmap for 2025. The company plans to enhance its offerings in cryptocurrency, stock trading, banking services, and payment cards. Key initiatives include the launch of the Level Up program, the introduction of Cortex AI, and the expansion of exchange capabilities. Crypto.com also aims to roll out a crypto rewards maximizer and institutional custody solutions. The roadmap highlights plans for stock options and derivatives trading in the US and Europe, and a focus on global expansion, particularly in Latin America, the Middle East, and Africa. In the realm of decentralized finance, a new standard, ERC-7683, is set to revolutionize user experience by enabling intent-based solutions for cross-chain transactions. This standard simplifies complex processes by allowing users to express their intentions in natural language, which specialized solvers can fulfill efficiently. The introduction of this unified framework could lead to increased competition among solvers, resulting in better prices and execution for users. As solvers become commoditized, the value is shifting towards platforms that facilitate user orders and settlement networks. In other news, the decentralized exchange DYDX v3 has shut down, leaving over $70 million in user funds unwithdrawn. To address this, the escape hatches feature, developed by Starkware, allows users to withdraw their assets directly from layer 1, even when the layer 2 is frozen. This mechanism has enabled users to withdraw nearly $30 million since the shutdown. However, More robust solutions are needed for general layer twos to ensure user confidence in asset recovery. Binance has announced the listing of two new tokens, Cow Protocol, Cowbo, and Cetus Protocol, Cetus, with trading set to begin on November 6, 2024. These tokens carry a seed tag, indicating they are innovative projects with potential for high volatility. Users must pass quizzes every 90 days to trade these tokens, and trading is subject to eligibility based on the user's country. In a recent analysis, Polymarket, a prediction market, outperformed traditional media outlets in forecasting the recent election outcome. While mainstream media hesitated, Polymarket declared Trump a 97% likely winner by midnight EST. The analysis critiques the media's reliance on outdated polling methods and highlights the value of prediction markets in understanding electoral dynamics. Finally, Bybit, the third largest offshore cryptocurrency exchange, has unexpectedly opened registration for users in China, a significant shift from its previous policy. This move comes amid reports of growing demand from Chinese users. Meanwhile, Binance has reportedly begun layoffs, affecting around 20% of its workforce, attributed to a challenging market environment and previous overexpansion. That's all for today's episode of the Crypto Daily News. We hope you found these stories insightful and informative. Remember to check the episode notes for links to all the stories covered today. Join us again tomorrow for more updates from the world of cryptocurrency and blockchain. Stay informed and stay ahead.